Welcome back guys. Thank you so much for joining me here on Product Perspective. So today we're looking at iOS 14 and the best features that I've come to really like about iOS 14. So let's get into the video. Okay, so as you can probably already tell, I'm going to talk about widgets first. And so as you can see right here, I don't have anything on my front screen. And these over here, I just stuck up so you guys can see how it works. So widgets are these apps, and right now it's just Apple apps. So only Apple apps, you can have a widget. Uh, so of course you have like weather, Apple music, Apple stocks, Apple, pretty much any Apple app. Um, and I use mostly over here on the very left screen, I have my battery level, I have calendar, I have Apple weather, Apple news, Apple stocks, and that's pretty much all I use widgets for right now. I can't wait until the third party apps uh, come out with their widgets. Apple just doesn't have that now in the beta version, which you can actually pick up the beta version. Uh, I'm gonna have a video coming out soon, how to get the beta version on your phone and your computer. Uh, but for right now, I'm just gonna show iOS 13. Uh, and so yeah, widgets are, you can stick them anywhere. You can see right here, you can edit them and you can put them in the middle. You can put them right here. Okay, so you can't put them one on each side. That's kind of interesting. Uh, you can put it on the top like that, pretty much anywhere. And this one right here, what I actually have right now is called Smart Stack. And so you can see right here, it used series suggestions for my top used apps. Um, right here you have Clock, you have Notes, you have Apple News. You have calendar, you have photos, you have weather. That's a smart stack. And I can't wait until we have those third party apps where I could put Spotify, I could put uh, Pandora, Instagram, I mean, just any, any third party app. Right now, why I don't have on my front screen is I just don't really use any of those apps and I don't want that taking up a big spot on my phone. But this is really cool to have widgets finally now on iPhone. It's so exciting. So yes, right here, as you can see the widgets, those are pretty cool. And of course you guys can mess around with this once you get the beta version. Uh, if you go over here, I'm just gonna try right here. You hit the little X right there at the top. And this is where you can pick from all of your apps. So as you can see right here, these are all Apple apps. And say, let's tap on battery. You can get three different versions right here. So you can have a huge list, which shows all of your devices, or you can have this sideways list right here or you can have just a small square list like this, which is usually what I use for mine. Um, right here, like if you did stocks, you can have stocks like that. You can have stocks like that, stocks like this. This one actually has four, so you can actually have a lot like that. Uh, Apple Music, same thing. You pretty much have all of these in the color of the app. The little button down here to add the widget also changes with the color of each app, so it's pretty cool. And if you are wondering, the color of Apple Music is now this pinkish red, and that's with iOS 14, the second beta version, I believe. Okay, so enough with widgets. The next thing I wanna talk about, which is really, really extremely exciting, is picture in picture. I think that's what it's called. Let me see here. Yeah, so right here, you can pretty much play any video. Um, this is not on YouTube or Google yet. Um, hopefully that of course will change, but you can actually overlay the video that you were watching. Um, so you can do this on, so you can do this on Safari or um, Apple TV right here. Let me get to, let's start playing here. How about the Martian? So we're gonna go right here. We're gonna hit play. And as you can tell, you have this little button now at the top shows a little arrow. It will make it small. And now that will overlay over your screen. So see this, now you can be watching something and if you double tap, it'll make it bigger. Or if you double tap again, it'll make it bigger like that. And you can move this down to the bottom. You can, so you can be right there. You can be scrolling around. You can open up this and you can have this movie playing right here. And as you can see, you can swipe it over. And now it's just this little icon on the side of your phone and it still might be playing. So if you're watching, so if you're watching a ball game or a music video, it'll still be playing the sound right now. And if you tap on it, then it will come back and if you hit this right here, that'll make it full screen. Or we will make it back down the small screen. We'll make it even smaller here, right in the corner. And now you can have this tiny little video playing 
and that is super cool. And as you can see, you can't put it like in the middle of your screen. It's either the bottom or the top. But I just think that's pretty cool to have something like that, that you can overlay a video over any part of your screen, anywhere where you go to open up, it's gonna be there. If you click here, it'll, it'll just be anywhere. And that's just super cool. And I can't wait until YouTube and stuff like that has this picture in picture, because that just, that's just really nice to have that overlaying over part of your screen. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about which is probably the, I would guess, number one to second best feature about iOS 14 is, let's go here. We're gonna go to accessibility. This little thing under touch that it is called back tap. And so literally, you can click right here and you can set double tap your back like this and Siri will come up just by double tapping the back of your phone. And I'll talk about Siri in just a minute or if you triple tap, it'll take a screenshot. And you can pretty much add anything you want on there. You could put opening up the camera if you use Siri Suggest. You could do opening up one of your favorite apps. You could be taking a picture. You know, anything you can use with those with those back tap. And I think that's really cool. And yes, it does mess up here and there, and so I'm sure with the updates until the final iOS 14, um, it won't mess up. But if you kind of set down your phone like this, Okay, didn't do there, but if you kind of go like this, so let's get, oh, it took a screenshot instead of Siri. See, so it will mess up here and there, but you'll just have to deal with that. So if I double tap, we're going to get to Siri. And Siri is one of the best features. I didn't features. get that. Could you try again? And Siri is pretty awesome. So if we get Siri here. You can see it's a whole new design. It doesn't fill up the whole screen. You can see your apps. You can be reading something. And Siri is just this nice animated circle at the bottom. What time is it? It's 3.39 p.m. It'll pop up here right on the top. And you can interact with that, open it from right there. So it's kind of like a notification there at the top. Siri is changing its whole look. It has almost 20 times the amount of answers that it did before iOS 14. So that's a lot more. So say it had a million answers, now it has 20 million. I'm just saying that as a reference. Or say it had 50 million, now that's a lot. It's a lot, yeah, yeah a lot. Anyways, so there's a lot of new features with Siri and I've, I've come to really like the new look of Siri. Okay, next thing that I don't use a ton but I have come to really like it is App Library. If you swipe all the way over to the right, you get this thing sorting out all of your apps. So you can see right here, you have games, lifestyle, creativity, uh, entertainment, social media, suggestions. I mean, everything shows up here. You can search right here and you can go from A to Z, or actually a little number sign there at the bottom. Or you can just see all of them. If you tap right here, you can get all of your apps pulling up. And a cool feature is you can actually download an app now and say I want to hold down Google Calendars, you can say edit home screen. And if you tap on this, you can say remove from home screen. And when you click on that remove from home screen, it'll actually put it in the app library and that's where you can find the app. So if it's like a background app that you never use, you don't want filling up your screen, you can actually go and now it'll be in here. So say it's a, a movie app and it's an entertainment app. It'll be under entertainments right here. Instead of filling up your screen, it'll just be under there. And another cool thing about hiding apps is if you hold down your screen and you can hold down anywhere to turn up edit. And you can see a lot of this has changed. You have the plus on the top to add your widgets. Your little X has changed. Uh, but if you tap right here, you see the little, you see the little dots are now have this gray thing around it. See, it's not there. And then if you hold down the screen, they show up and another one adds there. If you tap on that, now you can edit your screen. So say I don't want this screen, you can uncheck it right there, hit done. And now you only have two screens here. You only have this screen and this screen and your app library. And that's it. And now all those other apps are now just in app library. Of course, I don't really want to do that because all those apps in here I do want still on there. But if you had say 10 apps and you just don't want to see it anymore, stick them in a separate screen and just get rid of that whole screen. And so that's just something cool to have there. I don't really use that a whole lot, but that is something that I have come to like. Okay, so those are most of the top features. And of course, Apple said this is the biggest iOS update they've ever had, especially for Siri and a lot of other cool features there. But there are a lot of little things. And one of them is up here in the top corner when you have cell, your little cell lines there, 
if you tap on say camera, you'll see this little green dot come up there. And that's showing that that app is using camera. And they change color depending on which thing. One of them will be tracking your location. One of them will be mic. So if your mic is on, it'll show up there and you can know, be like, what, this app's using my mic? Or this app's using my location? Or this app's using my camera? That's something really cool to see. And right here you can see it's green when there's a camera. If you go to open up, say, Pandora, the little yellow dot there right at the top means the microphone's on. And now you can tell that that app is using microphone all the time. So anything you say could be recorded if you're paranoid about that. I'm not really paranoid. That's just something cool they're adding for privacy. So that's a nice tiny little feature there. The next feature is in camera. So if you open up the camera and you go to dark mode and you go to take a picture, there's this little X now that you can line up and keep your photo as steady as you can. So here's to show it again. Little X lines up with the other add X. And if you line it, let's try it again. So if you line up that little X, it'll keep your photo a lot clearer. Um, and this works better for when you're taking an actual night photo. You can see that X a lot easier. That's just a nice little feature that adds a lot just to one little aspect. There are a ton of other little things like their new app called Translate. And if you open this up, you get a whole new cool looking face here on Translate. And you can say anything and translate it to all of the top languages. So let's do English to Spanish. Hello, how are you? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Well, I had an issue with my camera. So on the language app, you can pretty much say anything you want and the app will translate it. So if we go right here and let's Let's pick Chinese right here. And let's say something like, what's the best features with iOS 14? What's the best features on iOS 14? iOS 14上最好的功能是什么? Just like that, pretty cool, huh? So that's a nice handy app, especially when you're traveling out of country. You used to do a lot of traveling, that would make it really nice and fast. And honestly, guys, that's about it. I mean, not actually about it because there are literally hundreds of new features, but tiny little features like like little refresh icons are changed and little animations are changed all over the device and you'll just soon get used to it. Uh, along with your Animoji, there's new Animoji features. So in your Animojis right here, you can see there's a new mask right here. And honestly, there are a ton of new features in just Animoji right here. I mean, some pretty cool stuff right there. And I have this guy right here, which is me. <laughs> and I think I have, yeah, a dark one right here. Pretty, pretty cool. You can change the color of your mask. I mean, so many new nice features in iOS 14. And they're just gonna get better once they get out of beta and towards the end of beta, of course. So make sure you guys go check out my other videos. And of course, like always, give this video a like and consider subscribing. And if you guys want, you can go check me out on Patreon. Uh, I'll have the link down in the description, but you guys can help support my channel by giving a dollar all the way up to $20 a month, which is a lot. Um, and you can just get some cool stuff there. Early access, maybe even a video with me, uh, a nice note from me, uh, posts just to you guys, and a lot of cool stuff there. So make sure you go check me out on Patreon. And again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys back in another one.